Hello everyone, in this occasion we are going to read and analyze the Bible reading for the 9th of Nisan, which will help us prepare our hearts for the commemoration day. All these readings talk about the last week that Jesus spent on earth, so don't miss it, because in the end we will draw good comments and lessons that we can learn from this reading, without further ado, let's begin. Ninth of Nisan Matthew 26 verses 6 to 13 While Jesus was in Bethany, at the house of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster flask of very expensive ointment, and she poured it on his head as he reclined at table. And when the disciples saw it, they were indignant, saying, Why this waste? For this could have been sold for a large sum and given to the poor. But Jesus, aware of this, said to them, Why do you trouble the woman? For she has done a beautiful thing to me. For you always have the poor with you, but you will not always have me. In pouring this ointment on my body, she has done it to prepare me for burial. Truly, I say to you, wherever this gospel is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. John 12 verses 12 to 19 The next day the large crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying out, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. And Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, just as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion, behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first, but when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written about him and had been done to him. The crowd that had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to bear witness. The reason why the crowd went to meet him was that they heard he had done this sign. So the Pharisees said to one another, You see that you are gaining nothing. Look, the world has gone after him. Mark 11 verses 1 to 11. Now when they drew near to Jerusalem, to Bethphage and Bethany, at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village in front of you, and immediately as you enter it you will find a colt tied, on which no one has ever sat. Untie it and bring it. If anyone says to you, Why are you doing this? Say, the Lord has need of it and will send it back here immediately. And they went away and found a colt tied at a door outside in the street, and they untied it. And some of those standing there said to them, What are you doing, untying the colt? And they told them what Jesus had said, and they let them go. And they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks on it, and he sat on it. And many spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut from the fields. And those who went before and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest. 
And he entered Jerusalem and went into the temple. And when he had looked around at everything, as it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. Now let's see the comments and lessons we can highlight from this reading. Let's look at the first comment. We see that when Jesus entered Jerusalem on a donkey, the prophecy of Zechariah 9 verse 9 was fulfilled, which says, Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion! Shout aloud, O daughter of Jerusalem! Behold, your king is coming to you, righteous and having salvation is he, humble and mounted on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. This teaches us that sooner or later, everything Jehovah has said will be fulfilled, so we can be sure that everything He has promised us will come to pass. Let's see the second comment. We see that the people cried out, Hosanna to the Son of David, which means that the people recognized Jesus as the promised Messianic King of Israel, so by saying those words, they were asking God to save Jesus, and as mentioned in the reading, Jehovah answered this petition by resurrecting Jesus. This was the analysis of the Bible reading for the commemoration of the 8th and 9th of Nisan, I hope it has been very helpful for you. Until tomorrow my brothers, I send you a big hug and may Jehovah bless and protect you always.